6.8 Western versus 7 millimeter Rem Mag versus 28 Nosler. Dave and I are going to talk about three hot rod 7 millimeter cartridges today on the Ammunition Guides podcast. Hello, friends and lovers. This is Dave Trillo, and you're listening to the Ammunition Guide podcast brought to you by none other than Ammo.com. Chris, today is a three-way comparison between three very big and beefy long-range cartridges, 6.8 yep. Western, the 7mm Rem Mag, and the 28 Nosler. And just before we started recording, we kind of leaped to our conclusion that we'd only really recommend that you get a 7mm Rem Mag if you had to choose between any of these. No, Dave, you're absolutely right, and uh, we're going to go over why here in a minute, but uh, if you got a second, make sure you click that link down in the description in the pinned comment. Get your free $20 off coupon for here at Ammo.com if you want to pick some of these up. But yeah, the 7mm Rem Mag has been a beloved cartridge for long-range hunters since about the 1960s, and it has been a force to be reckoned with for big game hunting. I mean, this has been a standard for elk hunters for years and it just keeps on trucking and is incredibly popular even to this day. But the other two are two of the newcomers to the game. The 6.8 Western, of course, is a 6.8. So it fires a slightly smaller bullet at 0.277 inches versus 0.284 inches in diameter for both the 28 Nosler and the 7mm Rem Mag. Now, the 6.8 Western, one of the newer cartridges out there on the market, but the 28 Nosler is an absolute hot rod. Made by Nosler, released just a few years ago is an absolute barrel burner, but man, what a trajectory that thing has. Based on the 404 Jeffrey of all cartridges, which yep. I haven't seen outside of historical accounts of elephant hunting. That 93 grain capacity on a 28 Nosler is just uncontested between these other two. Doesn't even come close to the 7 millimeter Rem Mag at 82 grains and the 6.8 Western just looks paltry at 74 grains of powder at that point. Uh, so yeah, the 28 Nosler are an absolute hot rod of a cartridge. Man, you pay for it because that barrel doesn't last too long. Yeah, how many shots can you get from one of those barrels? From what I'm hearing for peak accuracy, somewhere between 500 and 1,000 rounds, and you will consider your barrel shot out at that point. Wowzer. I mean, that's what you might do with a pistol during an especially heavy range day. A 28 Nosler is so powerful. There's so much force behind it, and the powder charge is just focused in that small area, really starts to burn up the lands and the grooves on your rifle, and that's really when your accuracy starts to fall off. The main reason we would advise a 7mm Rem Mag over the others, a lot of companies still make it. There's, oh, there's yeah. enough demand. The 6.8 Western, a very newcomer, we can only get it from Browning and Winchester, which means it comes from essentially one factory. 28 Nosler, they're pretty uh, protective about cartridges of their own creation. As far as I know, only Nosler offers 28 Nosler ammo. And good luck finding it is all I'm going to say. Even though Nosler makes it themselves, this stuff sells out like hotcakes whenever they get it in stock. 28 Nas are incredibly difficult to find. Makes the 6.8 Western look like it's flying off the shelf and it's everywhere because you can at least sometimes find 6.8 Western. 7mm Rem Mag is going to be ridiculously available and it just has that staying power. And it, it, it's talking about power, you want to talk about recoil difference? The 28 Nas are coming in at a whopping 40 foot-pounds of recoil energy. That's a lot. Whereas the 7mm Rem Mag and 6.8 Western looking like right around 30. And that's a lot more manageable. Yeah, and then neither of those are light hitters. Now, I'd take a 33% recoil reduction any day of the week. You and me both, Dave. Uh, that is significant in my mind. And that punishment over time on your shoulder is going to add up. But I will say that the 28 Nosler, you get some benefits out of it. It's going to have, you know, typically higher muzzle velocity uh, and a, definitely a flatter trajectory than both of these cartridges put together kind of makes them cry. Uh, you can get, let's see, I'm looking here at like a 175 grain bullet, going to only have about 31 inches of bullet drop at 500 yards compared to right around 37 for both the 6.8 Western and the 7 millimeter Rem Mag. So you're talking, uh, I mean, if you're just going for flattest trajectory, you're going to really see where that recoil energy pays off in a 28 Nosler. It kind of dusts the other two rounds we're comparing. 
Oh, 100%. And the further out you get with these, the more dramatic the difference is going to be. I understand at 500 yards, you're like, well, six inches, not that much, Chris. But uh, at 1,000 yards, we're talking a lot more. That flatter trajectory is going to pay for itself, you know, down at the 1,000-yard range or further, which the 28 Nosler is capable of shooting. Is the guy like you or me really going to notice the difference in accuracy between any of these three rounds? Probably not going to notice a whole lot of difference between these three as far as accuracy is concerned uh, because we don't necessarily need that peak, you know, half MOA accuracy. A half inch here, a half inch there is not going to make a huge difference on a game animal. Now, in a match, yes, it absolutely can make a difference, but the average shooter like you and me, Dave, are not going out and shooting F-Class on the weekend. And you might as well take the recoil reduction uh, if that's the case. Still, you know, I think the, the 7 millimeter rim mag wins out in that just because of, of you know, the lower recoil amount. It is slightly more than the 6.8 Western, but we're only talking about one or two foot pounds, and that's really not going to be all that noticeable. Now, you know, as far as ballistics are concerned and things like that, they're going to be pretty similar between all three of these. Of course, the 7mm Rem Mag is going to be shooting the higher weight bullet as compared to a 6.8 Western for the most part, uh, though that's not always true. The 6.8 Western can sling those heavy bullets out there, but you know, ballistic coefficient-wise, you're probably looking right around the same between a 7mm Rem Mag and a 28 Nosler because, well, they can fire the same bullets. we got to talk about what happens when one of these bullets hits their targets. Um... Just insane stopping power. I think our data go up to 500 yards, and any one of these does more uh, energy on impact than you would be advised to have for ethical elk harvesting, 1,500 pounds. Yeah, easily can handle these out to 500 yards with all three of these cartridges. Now, the 28 Nosler just kind of blows it out of the water. It's looking right around 2,200 foot-pounds at 500 yards. That's insane. I mean, you compare that to other cartridges have less... Yeah muzzle energy at the muzzle uh, as compared to 500 yards is ridiculous. The other two, definitely no slouches. You know, your 6.8 Western looking right around 1,700 foot-pounds at 500 yards, and the 7 millimeter Rem Mag doing just fine right there at that threshold of 1,500 foot-pounds for elk at 500 yards, and that's a pretty decent shot on an elk. Kind of covers hunting. I think it's uh, kind of telling that the article tied to this podcast doesn't mention these rounds utility for home defense applications. Yeah, kind of like we talked about earlier, these are not CQB cartridges at all. These things are going to blow through internal walls like they are not even there. Yeah, the police in multiple jurisdictions would be upset with you. Just these are way too much for home defense. It's not to say that you can't do it. You can do it, but it's it's kind of, let's be honest, it's kind of a waste of money. With how expensive some of these cartridges are, it's just not worth it. Yeah. Now, reloading-wise, I sure hope you reload if you want to shoot these cartridges a lot because you're going to want to save some money, and reloading is the way to do it. Uh, you know, of course, you're going to need to buy your initial brass, and you can do that mostly here at ammo.com. But the .284, very popular, uh, let's see, 7mm Mauser, uh, if I'm not mistaken, 7mm OT8 shoots the, uh, the same bullet diameter. So you've definitely got some options out there. And then the .277, of course, the 270 Winchester has to be the most popular .277 cartridge out there. So there's going to be a lot of different bullet options for you, especially for hunting, if you want to reload for these cartridges. Chris, summing it all up, I mean, I think we've made a recommendation to favor the 7mm Rem Mag uh, a couple of times already. We can't really drive that point too far home. Yeah, I mean, for your normal hunter or shooter, the 7mm Rem Mag is going to do everything you can possibly want and then some. It's tried, it's true, it's been tested for decades at this point, and it is a staple in the big game hunting community. That being said, the 6.8 Western is definitely starting to make a splash. It is one of the more interesting cartridges to be released here in the last couple years, and it definitely has some redeeming qualities about it, especially for you know those longer range shots. Maybe you're out in the open country, out in the Great Plains, or you're taking shots at sheep. Then you know the 6.8 Western can be a great option. And the 28 Nosler, I, I'm just going to say, if you're a competition shooter, you should take a look at it. But for the average hunter, this is probably not worth it. I just don't see the benefit that you get from a 28 Nosler versus the price that you pay for it, which is incredibly difficult. Good luck finding a rifle for it and good luck finding ammo. So yeah, 7mm Rem Mang is going to be my top pick, followed by the 6.8 Western and then the 28 Nosler. Well, that sums it up, and uh, gosh, I wish we could tell you to come to ammo.com to buy these, but I don't think we've ever carried 28 Nosler. 
Yeah, it's one of those things we can't even find ammo for it, guys. Now, we do have some 7mm rem mag. Uh, you can check us out at ammo.com. Get loaded up on that. Uh, we're working on finding some 6.8 Western, but it has been tricky as of late with everything that happened back in 2020. Uh, but if you need any of them, guys, make sure you click that link down in the description. Get that free $20 off coupon, and we'll see you out on the range.